Hey, I'm Chris. Thanks for checking out this video and checking out my channel if you stop by. This video is going to cover an app that allows you to use your iPhone or iPad as a camera inside of a webcam, like Zoom, things like that, but also uh, for live streaming. So Ecamm Live, OBS, things like that. That's where you'd want to maybe use it as a camera and it allows you to do that. I covered the app uh, in brief uh, recently on my channel and uh, now that it's out of beta, I thought I'd just cover it again as well as talk a little bit about how you can use it for a live streaming camera. So the app itself is called Camo, reincubate.com slash Camo. Uh, there's a free version to try and then you can buy it of course for $39.99 uh, US dollar pricing I believe. And it's an app for your Mac, that's the part that you buy. And then there's a free, free app uh, for your iPhone or iPad that you install as well. And so just to familiarize you with it, the app itself looks like this. I've got my Lemon is my camera hooked up. It's an iPhone 11 that I've got going and obviously off to the side here. My normal web camera is up here. And so just you can quickly even see at a glance the I have a Logitech C920 webcam up there and the iPhone camera over there is infinitely better. Right now I'm using the wide angle lens so you can go back to the standard lens, which looks like that just so I can talk into it like that if I wanted to. Um, I like having it as a wide angle on the wide angle mode um, just for that it gives kind of like a room back behind the scenes view uh, as an option to, to switch to for live streaming or in the case of this video itself. You can also go to the selfie camera on the front which right now just shows the door behind, <laughs> behind where I'm looking here. Um, and just worth noting, as you can tell, the Pro, I have the, the paid version of this, the app, so that's what unlocks the ability to use the ultra-wide camera. If you had the free version, that wouldn't be an option to choose. You can also dial in various resolutions, and again, 720p would be the highest you could go without paying for the Pro version. And uh, yeah, you can dial down the resolution if you wanted to, to, to mimic what it's like to have a crappier webcam. Um, and of course, for bandwidth and various other reasons why you might want that as well. It also allows you to select the flash level, so I could use it actually as that turned the light on. It's hard to maybe tell as much here, uh, but you can see it a bit and dial it up and down the, the brightness of that flash if you wanted to use it for in a low light situation or as an extra light. And then of course, you can also add a watermark to the video. I can mirror it if I wanted to flip it because of where it was situated to show something different or rotate it and, uh, and then zoom as well and move around the zoom. So maybe you could highlight the microphone or whatever I wanted to highlight. Presets, as you can see, are coming soon. You can change all the settings in, in the Pro mode again. This is something you need uh, to upgrade to Pro for, but to adjust the camera settings, you can actually do manual, much more manual focus, manual shutter speed to dial it down or dial it up, depending on how you like it. And same thing with ISO, of course, which you can really blow out your image or turn off the brightness, dial it down, change the temperature if you don't like the way it's working, tint. And hue. Most for the most part, I find I leave it at auto, but uh, I do like to actually use this when I'm using this as a sort of behind the scenes camera. I turn the saturation all the way off to basically make it a black and white image. I have changed the gamma setting off of default just to give it a bit more of a darker look to it. Um, in contrast, sometimes I've dialed that up as well, but it's pretty easy to go kind of messy there. Um, so that's how I use Camo as far as the app itself. And, and now I'll show you how you can use it inside of things like Ecamm Live or OBS. So you can see this is my setup for Ecamm Live that I usually use for my uh, uh, Lemon Productions and our Good Stuff podcasting uh, when we do live streams. And basically right away you can see uh, the camera here. I'm going to just go to the just the camera mode. So just in the camera mode, this is my, of course, my uh, C920, Logitech C920 webcam. I can switch to uh, Camo, which allows me to use that camera, my iPhone 11. And then on top of that, it still gives me control with the Camo app, Camo Studio, so I can change settings on it and adjust things as I just did. You can still, of course, use your camera, just the camera itself, whatever it's sending um, from Lemon Productions, like, or sorry, Lemon, my, my iPhone. But uh, I find that I like that using Camo, actually, instead of Ecamm Live's camera, uh, sync because Ecamm Lives basically just grabs the feed of whatever's on your screen and that's why you can see if I use the Lemon camera it's like a letterbox version it's showing just happens to be what Camo is showing on the phone itself uh, as the app is running that's why it's active it's showing that it's connected to my iMac um, so it's great for Ecamm Lives version of that is great for showing like a game maybe or an app that you're demoing like I've done before on 
the, the on your live stream, but it's not something for using as a camera as nicely or as easily as what Camo does for you. So it gives you that nice full feed. Again, if I change inside of Camo and change this to be either like say the wide angle lens, that's gonna right away adjust Ecamm Live or again, go to the selfie mode, which is a very interesting angle. Um, and then also, of course, if I adjust this resolution for whatever reason down, it's gonna look really crappy. So it gives you a lot more control over what's happening on your phone without having to go grab your phone and make changes to it, which is what you would have to do if you're using Ecamm Live's uh, camera and then running, say, an app on your phone. That's just like I've done before. I've demoed before on my channel uh, where it would allow you to basically have a, an app that's just a blank screen, no Chrome, no nothing added to the menu and, and visual on screen and user interface. So that's Ecamm Live. Now I'll show you what it looks like with uh, OBS. So I've got a few different scenes here that I've got tuned in, uh, say the camera view. Right now I'm using a, uh, which camera am I using? Let's see here. Oh wait, that's a scene. So let's go down to, there's the camo app. So that's full screen inside of OBS. If I was streaming that, um, that would be what they would see. I've also got um, either, so this is the, my Logitech again, C920 camera that you can see up there. I can turn that off. If I turn on camo, that gives me the camo screen. So that's where I've got the option inside of, um, OBS to use either camera again, of course. And, uh, I set that up as a nested layer basically is how a nested scene is how I'm doing that inside of OBS. Um, I ran into a piece of wood, so that's what that is. It's not a, my daughter likes to call it a Harry Potter scar, but uh, just nothing glamorous or magical, unfortunately. But basically the way it's set up, um, and you can see on this, this screen where I've got my desktop view, I actually have my camera, the Logitech camera, the front facing camera, and then also my behind the scenes sort of uh, wide angle lens down here. So it gives you a nice sort of option to have both scenes running, which is kind of cool. It just gives, say, while you're chatting or whatever with your viewers, gives you that option of, of doing that as well. So that's a quick overview of Camo Studio, its final published version. Obviously they're updating it and changing it and adding to it as, the, as uh, weeks go by, but uh, it's a great app to check out. As I said at the beginning, uh, reincubate.com slash camo is where you can download it. Check it out, give it a try with your iPad or iPhone, and uh, you'll want, of course, some sort of mount or stand for it. I've ordered a couple of different ones off uh, Amazon to try out sort of desk mounts and things that might work. Um, but feel free to, if you have any questions about how Camo works with uh, ScreenFlow, with with Ecamm Live, with OBS, or anything else, feel free to throw that in the comments down below. And while you're here, I'd love it if you check out my brother-in-law's new channel. He's got a new channel where he shows how he makes stuff. He normally makes, he has a really popular YouTube channel with uh, costumes and cosplay and steampunk and stuff, but his new channel called Lost Wax Oz 2 is uh, where he shows how he makes other stuff besides costume related things. So his newest video is making a surfboard out of a hot tub cover, I think, sort of thing. So. Uh, in the middle of Canada, nowhere near the ocean. So worth checking out if you're into surfing or the middle of Canada, I guess, <laughs> and making stuff. So check out Chris's new channel. And uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time in the next video. Bye.